one healer. The belief that we do not have the ability to heal arises out of the mistaken idea that our power does the healing, or that the intellect does the healing. All that the will and the intellect could do is to behold or watch the process. The mind fixes its gaze steadfastly upon the principle and then declares that this principle is operative in human affairs, and particularly in the affairs of the one being treated. There is but one healer. This is the spirit of truth. There is but one life principle. This is God in us. There is but one final law. This is the law of good. There is but one ultimate impulsion. This impulsion is love. That which really does the healing can never fluctuate, can never change in its nature. It is not more one day and less the next. It is, at this moment, absolutely all there is, and it is ever available. We must forever rid ourselves of the idea that it is the personal man who does the healing. We must know that it is not I but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. The principle operates irrespective of personal opinion, and when through acquiescence we agree that it is operating, then it must operate. It is not enough for the practitioner to know this or to state it as his belief or to affirm it as a conviction. This is but the foundation upon which he builds his edifice of faith. These are materials which he molds into the form of definite desire. He must not only know that God is all there is, but he must know that God exists right where the need is, not in the form of the need, but in the form of of an answer to the need. The Divine Spirit is the only actor, the true Savior, the all in all, and is now manifesting itself. Being all in all, it has no opposition, competition, or otherness.